Hi, I'm Nick from Sunbeam Sound Machine and you're watching Speaker TV. I'm not sure what bedroom pop is. <laughs> that was, uh, I didn't come up with that one, but it was pop songs that I recorded in my bedroom. So I guess it's self-explanatory, but yeah, that's not my, not my label for it. Cosmic Love Affair was a song that I recorded when I was house sitting for my parents. And I'd gone down there planning to finish off some other songs. Then in the morning I just came up with that one and just spent the day recording it. By the end of that day it was pretty much finished so it happened pretty quickly I think the the difference between the two EPs is just better recording equipment and only slightly better but still a bit better and just uh, there was just different stuff that I wanted to do I moved on from the stuff I was recording first and the most important thing to me is to keep progressing Going from just a solo project to a live band has been really fun. Um, the songs sound quite different live uh, compared to the record. They've got a lot more energy behind them. Um, some of the songs are pretty, have been pretty tricky to learn because I never expected to play them live, but yeah, it's been really fun. I don't have to change the songs too drastically live, but it's more... Most songs have about 10 or 15 guitar tracks on the recording, so we just have to pick the two best, the two most important ones and play those live. The fan video from New York was quite bizarre. Um, I had, had no idea until someone else showed it to me. It was already on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I love the video. I think it's really cool and really kind of freaky and strange, but suits the song as well. So yeah, I don't know how she got onto the music at all, but I'm glad she did. I wasn't aware that anyone outside of my circle of friends would <laughs> hear any of it so yeah the fact that someone from New York even heard it let alone decided to make a video for it was just bizarre. Oh, so. 